In the previous video, we actually set up our to-do repository and we saw how that happened. We set up our uh, to-do repository with the help of the CRUD repository, which is uh, given by Java uh, Spring Framework data dot repository dot CRUD repository. We also added the ID annotation to our uh, ID for the to-do for to-do entity. And one thing which we forgot to do in the previous video is that we need to tell the uh, tell Spring Data JPA that this to-do class is an entity, uh, so that you know it can be mapped to the credit repository for all the function calls. So all you have to do is give it an entity uh, annotation and we'll just import this now. So one thing which we missed in the previous video and I think we have covered that now. So that's nice. Yeah. So in this video, we'll actually finish uh, creating our, uh, integrating the database, the Do Apache Derby database with our application and then uh, run it on Postman and see whether, you know, we can actually uh, add, do some post requests, some get requests, some update requests, and delete requests. So this is going to be uh, what the video is going to be about. So first, uh, all we need to do is that uh, we need to make sure that we have the repository ready. So we have the credit repository ready and the to do entity is also ready. So let's close these and no changes in the controller. The controller is going to be the same, no changes. And all we have to do is work with the to-do service. So let's get rid of our list now uh, or get rid of our database now. And yeah. Now the first thing which we need to do is uh, we need to uh, add a dependency, which is the to-do repository. So we need to you know, auto wire it. So auto wire and private to-do repository. Repository. Yeah. So let's import auto wired. Great. So we have our true repository here and let's see how we can work with this or how we can actually use this. So the first is get all to do's. So now uh, to get all to do's, we need to actually return a list of to do's, right? So first let's make a list of to do's. So list of to do's. So to do. equal to new array list and yeah we have created our a list to do's so now let's actually uh, query our repository and see how we can actually use the repository to uh, implement get all to do's function so let's see what a to do repository gives us so to do repository dot and as you can see we have a bunch of methods here so we have count delete delete all exist find all so i think find all basically says returns all instances of the type type to do here so i think find all works the best for our application here so we'll do find all and now that we have all that let's add them to the to do list so for that we'll just use a simple uh, function call again so dot for each and here uh, we'll be using a different kind of Java uh, syntax, which is to do colon colon add. So this basically uh, says that you know add uh, for each uh, to do which you find uh, in find all, add them to the to do's list. So in this way, we have filled up our to do's list, and all you have to do now is return to do's. And yep, it's that simple. So all we had to do was call the function find all. So we haven't even implemented find all. So as you can see inside our repository, oh, let me just get the one inside our project, my bad. So to do service is here, to do repository. Yeah, so we haven't even implemented any of these interfaces. We automatically get the, get the implementation from Hibernate and we use them uh, with the Derby database. Great. Let's see how uh, if we can do something, we can find something similar for get a single to do by ID. So uh, return to do repository dot. And as you can see, we got the first one as find one. So find one basically says retrieves an entity by its ID. So that's exactly what you want since we have the ID as the parameter. So all you have to do is find one and the ID and 
that's it that's how we just return the to do which uh, we get by the id and similarly as you can see you know we have a similar way of doing this for all the to do repository function calls so again let's return oh sorry we don't have written anything here uh, we'll just do to do repository dot oh, not dot count sorry dot and as you can see let's try to find the one which we need so we need a save so the save basically saves it to the database so we'll do save and the entity is to do and that is how we create a to do so pretty simple pretty straightforward nothing complicated and yeah uh, just make sure that i haven't uh, covered all the edge cases here so this is still prone to uh, breaking the api still breaks so if you don't pass in a specific value or something we just get thrown an error we handle we haven't handled exceptions yet but we will do that in the future videos when we actually have an external database uh, included in our application so until then we uh, will be working with simple functions and assume that all the api calls will be uh, syntactically right so yeah don't worry about that okay great so let's is update to do so as you can see in the previous uh, implementation we uh, used up we use this in a very tedious way so we do through all of them then we get the one which we want then we check the id and then we update it so instead of all of this a very simple thing to do here is just to copy this one and paste it here so this is uh, this can be done in multiple ways but this is the way which i uh, found very easy to do when i looked up online on youtube and other blogs so basically uh, the same methods creates the entity and also overrides it so uh, when you pass in your to do with the update all all it does is it all automatically overrides your uh, update and overrides the one uh, the to do object which you have in the database with the new one which you already you know assigned so that's all you have to do to update your uh, to do list or to do task in your to do list database the next thing which we have is delete so again pretty similar to do repository dot delete and delete by id and that's it so that's all we had to do to actually use the to do repository and uh, uh, come uh, change the implementation so that you know this actually is being stored in a database and not an array list uh, like we did before so just to reiterate on the changes which we made you know for the database uh, we went to do service so yeah we have uh, the import is never used which one so yeah so oh my bad yeah we don't need it if it's never used great so now let's begin from the beginning so first we made some changes to our entity so we added the entity annotation so that java x persistence or the database or the jdbc or jpa knows that you know we are actually using this particular class as our entity uh, which will be used for ORM object relational mapping the next thing which we did was create a new class or a new interface which is today repository which extends from third repository which handles all of your hidden implementations for uh, find one find all save and delete and it takes in two parameters to confirm uh, one is the to do object or uh, the entity which we have here and the unique id or the primary key of our entity which is id and integer the next thing which we did was make some changes to our to do service so we uh, added a dependency for to do repository using auto add next we uh, uh, made the changes into our inside our methods to make sure that uh, we use the to do repository function calls and as you can see it's very easy to read very readable uh, get to do is basically find one uh, get all is find all create a save update is also save because it overrides it uh, and also creates it and delete is by delete so now that we have finished making our uh, simple rest api with uh, apache derby as a database let's run this and see this in action so let's go here and run our application so here uh, as you can see in the console you'll see the database changes happening and how spring is working at runtime to give you the apache derby function uh, mechanism so as you can see building jpa container entity manager hibernate is being used behind the scenes for the implementation uh, schema is does not exist so it's using automatically derby and we have started to do list on 8080 great so 
let's post something first ADAD uh, will post ID task 1 summary and hit send and we get nothing in return but the status is 200 okay so we have made it let's get and see whether you know it's uh, did we actually make that one or not so we do a get and uh, as you can see we got our first one ready let's do another post so let's uh, do another one so two 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 and two and we post this now let's do a get to check whether this has been post great let's do a put and update it so let's do task to update it uh, let me just do it for the rest and uh, let's do a send okay now let's go to delete and let's delete the one which you want so let's delete two and hit send great so and we do a get again so get for slash to do's hit send and we just have one so this is how we implement a to do repository or a spring data jpa repository and we use that with apache derby to actually implement uh, the functions that we have here which is find one find all save and delete in the next video we'll actually use uh, mysql now an external database and see how we can you know store it how we can use it how the to-do repository changes and all of that so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one